I'm Marty Mangiello from the United States Presidential Culinary Museum, and welcome to another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet. Today, we're super lucky to have Chef Mindy Morrow with us. Welcome. And we are going to be looking at, hey, Barry, pick up your stinky socks. So quite a funny episode today um, about President Obama. And we're super lucky down here, Mindy, um, to feature the Chicago dog. And I know you have not ever enjoyed one, but you have seen them. They're that famous. I have famous. seen them, yes. Yeah. Uh, here in Charlotte, by the way, we have a Chicago dog restaurant. Who to thunk, right? Uh, has to have, of course, the Vienna brand celery salt on it, or you are in a lot of trouble. And also the full length pickle, the sport peppers. Um, we use an emerald green relish. Don't ever uh, do anything other than steam the Chicago dog. It has to be steamed. Mindy, if you barbecue it, you know what they call it? It's not a Chicago dog. It's a char dog. A char dog. So this is a classic <laughs> mistake that many people make. Well, how about Michelle? Well, Michelle has a very famous dish, her uncreamed, creamed spinach. Get it? Very healthy, always making sure they're eating healthy. Down here, we have the president's famous beer. Um, he loves a Goose 312. This is a wheat ale. And uh, you will notice his bet with uh, David Cameron that the American soccer team is better than yours. And I guarantee we will win. And so they each put up a case of beer. No, you're wrong. I'm sure we're going to win, Barry, okay? So I'll put up a case also. Um, crazy thing, Mindy, they tied in, in the championship. And so then they said, you know, just to heck with it, Barry. We'll give each other a case of beer for free. So that's what they did. Um, they made this bet at the G20 Summit. This is a very famous bet. People love all these things and intricacies. Um, also, the only president ever to be featured on the front cover of The Amazing Spider-Man. We have an original copy here. And uh, if you guys are looking at the price, I think I paid $25.25. Um, let me tell you that comic is worth several hundred dollars now, okay? So super lucky to get that. Uh, also very, very fortunate to include this exhibit in our No Darkies sit in this section of the bus, which the famous Carl White um, also has interviewed the author of that book. And Orlando Herrera talked all about this exhibit and featuring President Obama with the dedication of the Rosa Parks statue and why he wrote the book. And of course, the president sat in the original bus, Mindy. Well, what a photo that was to see a black president sitting in the black section on the original bus. Talk about a historic photo. And uh, with that, I would just say, um, the Barbie dolls, uh, Mindy, did you play with Barbie? Oh, of course, and my daughter loves her Barbie dolls now. Well, we were lucky, remember I asked you for help to try and get the Rosa Parks Barbie doll, and uh, we tried to get it for the museum exhibit, and we, they were all sold out. So uh, for all you folks at home, we were finally able to get a, uh, one of the Rosa Parks dolls. And this is from the uh, famous ladies of the world, the Rosa Parks Barbie doll from Mattel. Now I mentioned that this episode was, hey Barry, pick up your stinky socks. And hilarious to find out that um, the kids, his daughters and Michelle, have often mentioned that daddy leaves his stinky socks around the house. And so, <laughs> that he refuses to pick them up, and that also the president um, does not unplug toilets. Uh, this is one of Michelle's complaints in public that she has made, and it makes the audience laugh out loud. So uh, the, the snorry and stinky that the kids often use to refer to daddy um, is just hilarious to find out. And President Obama, like W, admitted that he abused drugs and alcohol as a teen. And he graduated from Punahou, a very elite high school in Hawaii, where I lived in 1979. So I just always mention this during my speeches to people that you can actually be troubled and have challenges and overcome them and put those things behind you. But um, trying to pretend that you're a perfect person and have never done anything in life 
uh, really doesn't work for all of us. So um, this president did overcome many, many challenges. Hey, thanks friends so much for joining us again. I really appreciate it. You can subscribe right down there. Uh, we would love for you to subscribe, so click on subscribe. And looking forward to seeing you again real soon for another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet.